Christmas time is the best time of the year. The sounds, the lights, the smells, and best of all, the freedom to play video games. Now, you're probably wondering, Corey, what are the top 10 best video games for Christmas, and why are they all adolescents of Santa Claus? Santa pulled the blanket over herself and laid down on the bed. I followed suit and pulled the blanket over myself and laid down too. For some reason, we ended up using the same single blanket. Sweet dreams, Santa. Well, they aren't, you fucking weeb. Ready to fight me in the comments? Let's begin! Let's get this one out of the way. Instead of making you wait until number one, you know it's coming, and it's probably the most Christmas holiday-based video game on this entire list. I'm of course talking about Batman Arkham Origins. Celebrating its 10th anniversary this year, in case you wanted to feel old AF this holiday season, this is the game that sees a younger Bruce Wayne, uh, shit, uh, I mean, Batman, dealing with the crime families of Gotham City with a focus on Black Mask and the beginning of Joker's obsession with Batman, while simultaneously the entire game happens over the course of Christmas Eve and ends in the very early hours of Christmas morning. Like most things, that means it's an instant classic, right? Mm, nope. It's considered the worst Batman Arkham game, but hey, the worst great thing isn't really that bad, now is it? It's the holiday season, and that means destroying your little cousins and nieces and nephews and siblings and, hell, maybe even grandma needs to be taken down a peg or two. I'm talking about the quintessential familial beef squashing game, Super Smash Brothers. But you know what? I'll actually give you a ton of games for this one. Super Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, Mario Party, Wii Sports, those are the holiday games we can rely on for getting even Aunt Debbie, the one constantly asking why you are wasting your time with a video game when there's grass to touch and ladies to smooch, to shut up and throw down. Of course, you do need to be a little bit careful here. Uh, maybe play these games after you receive all of your Christmas presents, okay? Warning, grudges may continue for many holidays after. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. And I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. What better way to celebrate the holidays and coming togetherness than, well, seeing some of the worst and arguably best humanity has to offer when its back is against a wall. That is The Last of Us. Hear me out, I get it. There's nothing Christmassy about this game besides the fact that there's snow occasionally on the ground. However, it paints a picture of what we could be dealing with and allows us, in some twisted sense, to appreciate the fact that we get to watch a video like this instead of, I don't know, running away from clickers and scavenging for ammo that doesn't seem to drop quite often enough. The journey of Joel and Ellie is dark, yet hopeful, loving, yet violent, like some of our Christmases at home. If you've never found the time to play this game, I highly recommend making some time as soon as possible. You may not enjoy it, but you certainly won't regret it. Just bring some tissues or some leftover wrapping paper. You are going to need it. Leaving the dreariness of the Last of Us universe behind, let's go to one of the most whimsical, brightest universes I could possibly think of, and that is the absurdly popular Fortnite. If you're anything like me, you probably thought of this game as one for children and ninja, and probably that's it. But I am so pleasantly surprised and happy to say, nah, not really. This game has its finger on the pulse of popular culture unlike any other game. 
especially this season with the brand new LEGO Survival Mode. Not only is this game oddly nostalgic, even if you've never played anything like it, the coziness you get from the Winterfest event they do is unreal. Every year, Fortnite introduces a little holiday event, where they offer up an advent calendar-esque present system, allowing you to unlock cosmetics for free just by logging in and opening gifts. It's warm, it's inviting, and honestly, it's pretty addicting. <sighs> just like mom's sugar cookies. This one is maybe a little bit of a cheat, but hear me out. Think of your favorite game of all time. That game you played when you were let out from school for winter break and all your friends were busy doing holiday things. The game you couldn't put down, even though you just got a couple new ones for Christmas. The game that, to this day, reminds you of what it felt like to be young and warm and carefree. The world can be harsh. And what better way to revitalize yourself for the year to come by taking this time to go back to your roots, to play your favorite game. It's nostalgia, it's childhood, it's happiness. Whatever this game is for you, I'm sure you have one. For me, it's Final Fantasy IX. Seeing those characters and hearing that music will always bring me back to what life was like, when I could just stay up all night eating green dragons with Quina and getting absurdly powerful in the first few hours of the journey. What's your favorite game that does this for you? I wanna know. I'm not the biggest fan of South Park as a series, like at all, but dang, some of its video games are too good to ignore. While I prefer the new RPG style of South Park games, there's no doubt that South Park 64 is the holidays in game form, parts and all. You play as the boys in a first person shooter, except you're throwing snowballs at armies of turkeys and cows and aliens and even aggressive toys because South Park, <laughs> If you can get over the annoyingly pervasive fart noises and sound design in general, this is a joyous and short romp through a snowy, Christmassy Colorado town filled with your favorite, or maybe hated, characters. If this game reminds you of Christmas, just wait until the new game, South Park Snow Day, releases in 2024 with four-player co-op, potentially making it the quintessential Christmas game of the future, if you are into that sort of thing. And I am very into this sort of thing. Christmas is in big trouble. Gorge, we can't let anything bad happen to Christmas. That's where Santa Claus lives. Kingdom Hearts 2 is arguably one of the best games ever made, and it would be higher on this list if, well, there was more of the thing that makes it such a Christmas game. Halloween Town is objectively the best Disney World in the first Kingdom Hearts game, and I won't, I won't take any other opinion, okay? You're wrong. Kingdom Hearts 2 took that and said, we can do better. Introducing Christmas Town, which is as unbelievably beautiful as it is in the Christmas movie itself, Nightmare Before Christmas. And if I haven't said Christmas enough by now, let me just say Christmas. The only thing I'll dock some points for is that we are just simply not there long enough. It's an appropriate time in the context of the game, of course, but for this list, we'll settle with number four. It's just a shame we haven't seen any more of this j delightfully jolly world since, but maybe Kingdom Hearts 4 will bring back Jack, Sally, Zero, and the gang for some Christmas shenanigans. Actually, you know what? Just give us a full-blown spin-off game of Kyrie exploring Christmas Town and Halloween Town, okay? Thanks, Santa Square. This one is arguably a bit of a cheat, again, but I really do believe that these two games do something that no others can do when it comes to the holidays and Christmas time. I'm talking about World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy XIV. I have to include both of these MMO powerhouses simply because of the worlds they have created for us to live in each with their own in-universe solstice, Christmas, holiday, whatever celebration. 
Whether it's Winter's Veil vale and World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy's Starlight Celebration, it just, it feels like the character you've invested so much time into gets to enjoy the holiday vibes just like you get to in real life. Not to mention that these games are time suckers, and personally, I remember spending entire holiday breaks farming Mets in the Reindeer and exploring Azeroth on my temporarily transmogged Holly Mount. This year is no different, except for the time thing. There just doesn't seem to be enough time to enjoy the holidays in Azeroth, Eorzea, and the real world, does there? Shame. Web slinging and the holidays go together like Miles and Genki. What kind of list would this be if I didn't include one of the best Christmas games ever in this video? Spider-Man Miles Morales took what made Marvel's Spider-Man great and made it even better. Sure, the story's shorter and less involved and definitely less Spidey villains to be seen, but it introduces the heart and soul that is Miles Morales as Harlem's very own neighborhood Spider-Man. While the game gives you access to New York City just like the first game, this time it's the city in the best time of year. The holidays, the lights are set up, the snow is on the ground, and the capitalist pigs are consuming all that New York has to offer. It's just delightful. And it's made even more delightful by focusing very tightly on Miles' new home in Harlem, and you can really feel the Puerto Rican Christmas vibes that show New Yorkers in their best light. The setting aside, the game also feels delightful to play, with Miles packing more powers and gameplay options than anything Peter had before this. Seriously, if you are a fan of Christmas, you have not lived until you've navigated a rampaging rhino through a busy New York City shopping mall, avoiding Santa and babies and Christmas displays as best you can. This game really could be placed in number one. So, why isn't it? Well, before I answer that, I do just have to give an honorable mention that just can't be ignored but doesn't necessarily have a place on this list. Maybe this one and your favorite game are interchangeable. And that, my friendly neighborhood nerds, is taking the time to battle the brutal backlog. 2023 was an absolutely wild year for gaming. So many amazing titles were released, and many of them in very close proximity to each other. If you are someone who enjoys RPGs, especially, you didn't have nearly enough time to get to everything you wanted to, so what better time than the holidays to take advantage of those sales and play that game you meant to but forgot? Personally, I like to save the backlog for January, but 2024 is looking even more stacked than 2023, and that's just absurd. Parasite Eve is a criminally underrated PlayStation classic that not nearly enough players have played. It blends RPG and Resident Evil style gameplay perfectly, with a story that is gripping and mysterious. I'm incredibly thankful to Maedros, one of my mods on stream, for getting me to play this gem just a few years ago. It has, very quickly, become my quintessential Christmas game, even if the subject matter can be a little dark. You play as Ea Brea over the course of six days as she attempts to stop Eve, a woman, maybe, who plans to destroy humans through spontaneous human combustion, just like Santa does, just, just like Santa. But the best part, you are going to be traversing a bunch of levels set in the best Christmas setting of all time. New York City during the holidays. Do you see a trend here? The game literally starts with this amazing cinematic of Aya attending a Christmas opera at Carnegie Hall on Christmas Eve, and very quickly it introduces the big bad enemy, the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. I know. It sounds goofy. But dang, y'all, you gotta play this game. Whenever I think of Christmas, I think of Parasite Eve, the incredible final boss battle in the joyfully ominous ending. And there we have it, 
the top 10 Christmas games as told by me. Is there anything I included that shouldn't be on this list or anything you feel really should have been included? Tell me what your top 10 Christmas games are in the comments below. And maybe we'll do an update to this video one day. Thanks for watching, nerds. And if you enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe for more RPG videos and happy holidays.